Hi guys, um, welcome to a Blu-ray uh, movie and Blu-ray review. I'm trying to do the more than the Epic Film Challenge because the thing with the Epic Film Challenge is that I just like review loads of movies um, and they're just like, I do like 10 a day and all that and it's just kind of like tiring. So basically, if I do Blu-ray and movie review like at least two a day maybe, I think that's going to be more um, legit. Now, forkable, you're wondering what legit means. I mean, legitimate. Which well, is just a saying I say. Legitimate basically means legal, but, you know, it's just a saying I say. Um, so, it's The Hustler. Paul Newman. Jackie Gleason. As Minnesota Fats. Um, as well. I've got a Mountain Dew Energy Drink here. Not really part of the review, but anyway. Right now, I've got an Tesco. These are 56 pence a bottle, and you're selling yourself half price. So, can't really pass that up, to be honest. Very good stuff. I know the flick pick like these. Anyway, right, so the hustler. Um, here's the front. It's black and white film. Side 15 at the back. Movie is 129 minutes. So that's pretty, pretty good, actually. And then one of the coolest discs ever, like Paul Newman, like the legend of legends. Greatest, greatest actor. One of the greatest, I mean... Marlon Brando, Jack Nicholson, Al Pacino, you know, the usual epicist actors. Um, before I start, this film is my favourite black and white film of all time. One of my favourite films of all time. The best Paul movie ever made. My favourite Paul Newman film. So that kind of tells you that I freaking love this movie. Um, picture quality, like, buy this Blu-ray like now because... It's about 65 years old, and the pitch quality looks like it was yesterday, and I'm not even joking. I mean, I'm not speaking and, like, really getting excited, because I am not even, like, joking. I am actually proper serious. The picture quality is a 10 out of 10. It is so crisp. I mean, I know it's black and white, there's no colours and everything, but, oh my god, the picture quality on this was is absolutely amazing. Basic plot line, Paul Newman is, like, a, that kind of... Uh, pool player and he basically like goes uh, he goes like around different cities with his like manager to um, get money for like drinking that and he goes to this like place in New York where there's like a really big pool table um, and essentially he plays uh, Jackie Gleason who's like the best pool kind of player in the world what, what in New York? I don't know about the world, but yeah. And like they play billiard, billiard as well, I think. And he basically just uh, plays Jackie Gleason, like for money, like they'd say two hundred dollars uh, a game uh, at one point, and in that time that was like three thousand dollars a game. And he has to, he pretty much puts all his money on it. And then uh, when he, that's kind of like a half an hour scene, and just that like him playing Jackie Gleason, that's probably one of my favorite mo scenes in a movie like ever. Um, and then he, there's, uh, his love interest is actually in this, played by Piper Laurie, who's really good in this, um, and he sees her, and he starts seeing her, and becomes her girlfriend, and all that, and he gets invited to, like, um, a quite, a uh, good, kind of, venue, because another really, really great actor in this, uh, George C. Scott, great, great actor, um, he, like, slowly, like, really, Starts to be, like to become uh, Paul Newman, like wants to be his manager, so he takes him to this like Billard's place and all that. And yeah, it's just the epicest pool film of all time. Uh, this was nominated for 11 Academy Awards, and I don't think it won any, which is stupid. Um, this film should have won at least 10 because it's a 10 out of 10 film. Paul Newman, how did he not win an Oscar for this? I don't understand how he he could not win an Oscar. It was like the most Oscar-worthy performance like ever, and he didn't even win. Um, it was like uh, nominated for Best Picture, Best Director, Actor, Actress, Supporting Actor, Supporting another Supporting Actor for George C. Scott and Jackie Gleason, Art Direction, Cinematography, which is great in this, and Adapted Screenplay. By the way, this Blu-ray, another reason to buy it. With Blu-rays you get, if you're into your behind-the-scenes special features, Look how many you get in this. For a pretty old film, that's pretty good. And it's just so, so, so good, this film. Uh, but at the end of the day, people say Oscars don't prove anything. Like, 
I say Robert De Niro, he's only won two Oscars. Al Pacino, Godfather, Scarface, like all that, he's only won one. You know, it's like, at the end of the day, does Oscars really mean that something's a great film just because it wins the best accolade? I mean, some of the best actors out there and best films and like, stuff like that, they haven't won Oscars, you know? So sometimes I think Oscars are pointless, you know? Like, some stupid films with Best Picture, like, um... I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna name them, but you know what I'm saying. It just pisses me off when really great films don't get nominated for apparently the best film accolade. It's stupid. Uh, but anyway, ten out of ten film for the movie. The pitch quality is crisp. The contrast is excellent. Uh, ten out of ten. The sound pretty nice actually. It's a bit like Granny for it's sixty five years old I think. So you know you're not gonna expect like the best. So about an eight out of ten. And the extras, yeah, really really good. You got a Pullman. You got a Paul Newman documentary, The Inside Story, you know, The Real Hustler, theatrical trailer, so a 10 out of 10, easily. 10 out of 10, pretty much all around, uh, great film. Buy this Blu ray, guys. Don't buy a DVD, buy Blu ray. Definitely buy Blu ray. Thanks for watching, guys.